Hey, on this week's episode, we're going to be talking about what makes a convertible different than a standard. A lot of bracing going on. Stay tuned. Why? You are actually perfectly placed for the question that I have. Uh oh. All right, I came question? in. Yeah, I came in. Ooh. It was Rob. Hey Rob. Hey Rob. The question we appreciate. Them. All right. So the question is, with a Super Beetle convertible, or just a convertible, or just a convertible, what is the extra, you know, like support structure? Because it's not the same. You got half a car here. So that's, that's actually that's a pretty good question. Yeah. Um, as Show most us. of you know, the the full dual body is unibody, but not really. Um, kind of a hybrid. Uh, the shell, the, the, the roof is actually part of the structure to keep it from folding. So yeah. when you do a convertible, you lose the other heart, half the rigidity. Yeah. And that's also one of the reasons that it's curved because it's stronger that way. Oh, yeah. It's uh, like screws a are strong. So on the earlier convertibles, they, they did different engineering and different things. This is a 67. Uh -huh. um, so in here, we've got extra support rails going to here. They come up into here and they actually come up into here. So it keeps this part of the body from flexing. Mm -hmm. And then underneath the standard rails here is another support rail. Okay. So this runs the entire length of the body. It also keeps it from flexing. So that's not on a non That's not on a standard, no. Okay. So and then also inside here, it's got a second inner firewall mm -hmm. or wheel well. Okay. And then back here. To add extra support, it's got another brace here, which is actually conveniently attached to the um, uh, seatbelt mounts. Okay. And that's pretty much it. There's a little bit extra strength strengthening back in here. Uh -huh. so like all this structure is not all this structure is not part of a normal beetle. And then typically we don't have that much welding and that much panel in that back sure. section either. Okay. So that's also one of the reasons that convertibles way more. So you can say, is it fair to say that tacos are awesome, but not in a car? Not in a car. And, and like I said, this is an early version. We've got a later version out here if you oh. guys want to go look at it. Sure. All right. So here's the other one. Yeah. So this is a 79. Uh-huh. It's Mr. Parks. And then you'll notice that it has the same type of support as the early version support well, but there's a little less metal up in this quarter panel. Yeah. It still has the braces, okay. um, although they're not quite as hefty. Mm -hmm. still has the inner braces. I go over the heater channel. Mm -hmm. Still has this, and I would get into the hood, but I don't want to get into it. But there is actually another set of supports. They look a little bit differently. They go up into here. Okay. So there you have it. It it, it keeps the car from doing this. Yeah. So if you ever see one with rotten channels, and this gap doesn't line up, you can actually see it dropped a little bit. Mm -hmm. it means it spread just a little bit, which is normal over the life of a car with metal fatigue. Okay. So. There you have it, Rob. So that's the answer to the question. If you want a short one, um, I don't have it. So. <laughs> All right, Darren, what is going on? You got a lot of bugs. There's beetles everywhere. There really are. Um, That little blue beetle over there, we call it the wedding beetle. Oh, yeah. Uh, he contacted us and uh, wanted to get it running for his wedding. They're going to drive away in it. So. And how long? Tell us. Tell it was sitting outside for three years, I guess, about yeah. that. And, uh it didn't run, and we brought it here and uh, diagnosed it and got it down to where it needed a starter, put the starter in, and Corey did, actually, one of the last things he did for, we'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah. Um, and got it fired up, ran, the old gas was still in it, had to do a couple other things to get it tuned out, <laughs> and then we had to do a bunch of wire and stuff to get the headlights and stuff working, so it's pretty much done. He it is the zombie it. apocalypse vehicle Driver, for sure. Bug, you know, That's so great. Yeah, little Beetle that just came out of the the woods and started running Amazing. in so and then we were working on steel and gills here doing a couple other things okay. we got some deals going on so we'll go in here and yeah. see yeah yeah went over a little bit and saw park out there this is park chassis you saw it last week but we've got um well they have welded the new pans in yeah seam sealed it uh we got the new um pan gasket on it and uh we're waiting on a couple other little things we got new brake lines put throughout all master cylinder, all that, and he wasn't. This isn't a full restoration. He's just having to do certain things. Uh, waiting on a couple other things, and then we're going to put the body back on it. And we got a wiring harness coming. We're going to wire the whole thing, and then uh, do a few little interior things, put a new top on it, and then it can go home. Beautiful. So there it is. Um, 
You already talked about that in there. Yeah. So this right here is oh, yeah. Miss Riley's rear bumper Ooh. for her Gia. Um, you know, so all her chrome just came back. Wow, that's really And so pretty. we started putting you on that. Bumper's made up of several pieces, obviously. Yeah. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten pieces. Mm -hmm. So um, that's her. Here's her car over here. Oh, Luke's been working on the interior, so most of the carpet's all done. Got speaker boxes back there going in. Wow. Um, that looks good. Yeah, so uh, obviously the headliners are the dash pad and all that stuff. Yeah. A lot of little stuff going in now. Uh, her front bumper's on. Well, obviously the chrome game back, so the front bumper's built and put on. The inner headlight rings. Um, we're waiting to get those wired up before we put the actual headlights sure. on it. Um, and so there's a lot That's of great. chrome that she, she, all her chrome came back. And on this car, there was a lot of chrome. So yeah. the grill, the horn grills, I mean, the air oh, grills are chrome. Right. Okay. Um, there's the whole side molding trim, which oh, you'll yeah. see the little holes here. Uh -huh. That's all chrome on the interior of the doors. Um, these were chrome. Uh, wow. All this is chrome. The window trim is chrome on both sides all the way down. Um, some door parts. Of course, the door handles, the inner door handles. Uh, like a lot of parts that are on it, they're chromes. After you start getting into yeah. the rings on the tail lights, the you know, lenses, the outside ring is chrome. Uh, <laughs> so there's chrome there, um, latches, on and on and on. So she's yeah. got a bunch of chrome. Wow, it all crazy. came back and it's, it's all coated up over there and they're going to take it apart as they need it and put it in. Great. And boom, there we go. So that's that car. Fantastic. We're getting close on that one, huh? We are. And you know, we've been saying, wait, wait, wait. Well, now we're getting a bunch of work on yes. that. Gazzo, though, um, still waiting, but. We're trying to look for a, another option on that, but okay. here, over here, so we got range. Yeah, that's exciting. Some range car got a bunch of stuff going on it. Mm. I'm just sniffing glue today. <laughs> Again? Still? <laughs> I'm up to two bottles a day. <laughs> so he's in here doing the headliner and the uh, the rag and oh, all that. Oh, that, that looks really complicated. Yeah. It is complicated. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a lot going on there. Oh. So, and this is the multi piece, which. A lot of parts. Yeah. And they have to go in this very specific order. Ugh. So the great news is we've been waiting. The reason we were waiting to do all that, or part of it was, because we were waiting on the seat frame. Oh, yeah. The, custom the brackets, Yeah, right? they came. Okay. And they were Both wrong. of them? Well, when they came one at a time, and they were both different, and they were both wrong. Oh, no. So we're going to have to customize them ourselves. So we're just going to take that over and do ourselves. But... We just went ahead, and so yeah. he's putting this up. I mean, there's a lot of, so we are going to have to do some cutting and welding in here to do it. But anyways, that's what you wait all the time, and then boom, uh, there we are sometimes. So it's okay. We went ahead. Here's some work going on. So, yeah, that's true. Right. Um, it's progress. Yeah. So he'll get the headliner done, and then boom, we can, he's going to take the glass to get it tinted. Okay. Uh, and then we should see, see, there's your split. You got it got inside, it looks so good inside the split's got that, so we should see glass in here. Oh. Maybe next week, maybe uh, week, uh, next week. It takes a little over a week to do it. Does but, it? To so get we'll, tinted? Yeah, yeah, so we'll have a couple, a couple weeks we'll be putting glass in this thing. Yeah, they call it one day tinting for some apparent reason. <laughs> it's, it, it, it'll get done one day. Right. Not in one day, one day. One day, day it will be. Day. <laughs> well, we got a new windshield cut. I okay. think all the glass is new in this car, oh, actually. Yeah. Except for the rear. Okay. Yeah, new pop outs. Obviously, those are hard to get. The, yeah. The split, but we got a new windshield, which was hard to get. Also, we had to have it cut and made. Cause, right. But, anyways, we got that. And so, it's a flat windshield? Or? This is going to be a safari. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. So, we're going to safari that bad boy out. So, right. um, Somebody was asking why there are crutch coolers in this. And because the client wanted them. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Who wants a hot crutch? I, mean, I should probably edit that out. <laughs> I just leave that. Uh, and then we got Mr. Hershker's 60 over here, and we put done little stuff on it. We put the yeah. the body trim on it. We talked a little bit about the hood deal I had it on. Right. Night, but um, we're kind of, oh, I put the antenna on. But we're just kind of, we're waiting. He ordered the headliner, and it's going to take 16, 18 weeks. Oh, so my gosh. I can't do anything else because we got to wait for that to put the windows in uh, and all that. And I don't want to put carpet and have it sitting there getting trampled all over. Right. The so we're kind of in a holding pattern on this one. We do have all the little parts. But we can't put them in because i got the wiring harness we're waiting on too, which is being custom made by Rebel yep. because it's a six-volt car that's going to have semaphores that, want, that he wants oh, to Oh, right. Working. I forgot about that. So they're having to figure that out. Um, so anyways, okay. on those two things, we're waiting. So there's Hershker. Um We'll walk out here. Yeah. And we got some more work going on. Miss Lauren's notch back over here. Oh, Jeremy good. was doing some stuff. 
Oh, and our, our engine our, blow. Corey engine got our blow engine running. So yeah. All right, we well, let's mention Corey so now. So Corey is, uh, was here for about a month, and he got hired on at Athens Fire, so he's going to rookie school. That's so, been his dream for a yeah, long time, so right? Yeah, he's uh, off onto that. So he's actually working. He worked last night, and he's already on a shift to running around practicing with them until they go to rookie school. Okay. So he was on a 24-hour shift last night in Athens, so. Oh, wow. Who's on that? We need another we mechanic. Need another mechanic. Yeah, we need another mechanic. <laughs> and he may still come back and work part-time. Somebody gets out of rookie school and gets out on He's going to be here for the show. So yeah, once his see, schedule but, settles down and all. But he did get the, the blow motor running, so that'll be Fantastic. here for the show. So we got to take it and get it set out there and the ready to go. zombie motor. But uh, Miss Lauren's notch over here, so let's see. Uh, Jeremy, what did you do lately on this thing since last week? Everything I've done. Late, well, recently in the back. was in the back, back here in the back dash. So you remember he oh, was yeah. making this part of the show, so he's already got it welded in and started already cleaning it up. So that's all, this this whole front back there is all yeah. a piece of metal that he put in there and up the sides here. These Does, are all. It doesn't exist. So gotta make that's it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, got to make the, this back. The window frame. I had to oh, right. the window frame. Yeah. yeah, this actual trim here where the window's going to pinch on, he had to do that, which right. is kind of crucial because your window, don't, you don't want your back window popping yeah, out at about 60 on the interstate. Probably not a good idea. So, and the people behind you really don't like yeah, it. Yeah, they wouldn't like that a lot. So he's got, uh, no, he doesn't got a ton more. He's got the heater channels we got to figure out. we got to put the rockers on, which we have those made, mm -hmm. our deal. And then he's got some patching to do back there. So just a sure. little bit, but it's coming along. That's great. A little notch back. Oh man, I love he this. He did make these, which you can see them, but they're up underneath the airbox sure. in the back. So. Okay. A lot of the work that he's doing, unfortunately, is going to be hidden. Yeah. And you won't be able to see it. All these get panels on them, obviously. You won't oh, see um, any of yeah. them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And those are already done. Sitting upstairs, already primed, ready to go. Yep. So. Yeah. Hopefully we uh, we'll go from there, and then uh, I think this. That's about, about it, it, huh? About it this week, All right. uh, October sixteenth. October sixteenth. Coming up, it's almost October. It's now. like what three weeks? Three weeks? Yeah, ah. that's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, I want to plug the swap meet because we yes. need people to come buy stuff because it's get it out of here. When we put it out there, we didn't realize how much stuff there was. There's a lot um, of I stuff. I took some pictures. Maybe we can put those on there too of the actual yeah. deck out there with the mound of stuff. Oh yeah, keeps it bigger so. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's a lot of stuff that people need. So. Yeah, sure. Anyway, make a note. Make us an offer. October sixteenth. <laughs> October sixteenth. We'll go ahead and we'll insert the picture in that. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I got the pictures. I'll take Great. First, so. All right. Well, let's do that. Okay. All right. Well, you guys know what to do. Bye, Bye people. people.